I, I wish Nene was here right now to see how he feels about the Dallas Cowboys. It's been announced. It's been reported by ESPN's Adam Schefter that the Dallas Cowboys are bringing back their coach, Mike McCarthy, for another season. Nene, at least, as a Cowboys fan, was in here two days ago saying he wants everybody gone. Everybody except for Dak, for some reason. Uh, but it doesn't sound like, I mean, that was unrealistic any, unrealistic anyways. But one of the top candidates to go, Mike McCarthy, sticking around. What do you make of it, Isaiah, as a neutral party? As a neutral party, I think it's fine to keep Mike McCarthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a good coach. I assume that the only reason that the Cowboys would keep Mike McCarthy is because they don't think they could land probably mm. like a Bill Belichick. Mm-hmm. If they were interested in Mike Rabel, maybe they don't think they could land a Mike Rabel. Yeah. And so if they're convinced that they're not going to land either of those guys or a Jim Harbaugh, then you should keep Mike McCarthy. I think that this is going to seem really smart about 11 months from now when the Cowboys are like 10 and three and hot dogging through the regular season, possibly likely on their way to winning the division again. But then one year from now, I don't know when the next, the Sunday of the divisional round of the playoffs has come, but one year from now, it's going to look really silly again. But is, does it look silly though? Is it his fault? Did, did it look silly on Sunday? But whose fault is that? That his team lost by 30 points? He was woefully unprepared. Yeah, you got to blame the coach for that. You got to blame the coach for two interceptions? Like, what are we talking about? Your team was uh, was hot dog and grandstanding on offense all year. And then what happens in the first quarter? You almost get, sh- or the first half, you almost get shut out. See, I think this is the more. The defense of the other team scores more points than your offense. See, I think this is more. You can never, I don't think you can put a blowout on a coach. I think a blowout always lands more on the players. Because in my mind, immediately, I mean, if you say they're unprepared, they're unprepared, whatever it is. But in my mind, immediately, a blowout's always just a poor performance. Like, it's not his fault that the Cowboys were horrible Mm -hmm. on Sunday. Like, they were just bad. Like, you just have a bad day. Like, there's a lot of teams this weekend that got blown out. But in my mind, everybody's, I mean, Mike McCarthy, he gets shredded. He gets absolutely shredded every year for no reason. But the, one of the statistics that I saw that I really liked, which they call Mike McCarthy, is many a times the butt of many jokes. Yeah. But everyone loves Mike Tomlin. Everybody loves him. Uh-huh. Everybody thinks Mike Tomlin should stay in Pittsburgh, and the Pittsburgh media is ridiculous for thinking that he's gone. They're thinking that he should go. But if you look at them side by side, Mike McCarthy is a more successful coach than Mike Tomlin, which is insane. It's insane. And so Mike Tomlin, record 173 and 100. Mike McCarthy, career record, 167 and 102. Mike Tomlin, 8 and 10 in the playoffs. Mike McCarthy, 11 and 11 in the playoffs. They both have one Super Bowl. One's a genius, and the other guy is, should get fired every year. It's unbelievable to me that they are taken in such different lights. Even though Mike Tomlin and the Steelers... I mean, the past couple of years have not been so hot, but his teams with Big Ben and AB and the best defense in the league, yeah. he was getting absolutely carried year in and year out. Put I, them side by side, and I think that uh, Mike McCarthy, pretty good coach, pretty good coach, but that's just how Dallas is. It all depends on your aspirations, and if your aspirations are to lose in the first round of the playoffs every year, Mike McCarthy's your guy. Well, you know what? If you're making the playoffs every year, you should be a pretty grateful franchise. <laughs> Never expired a better. You should be a politician. Hey, I'm just saying. I mean, not, you're going to win the Super Bowl one time every 15 years, and that's pretty good. And Mike McCarthy has won a Super Bowl one time in the last 15 years. That's pretty good. Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.